Welcome back to Marley Makeup. I was tagged by the lovely Samantha Sher to do this lip product addict tag video. I'll put the link to her video in the description box below. This is a first for me as I usually do makeup tutorial videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this from me. So the first question is what is your favorite balm or treatment? Now my favorite balm or treatment is probably not your most conventional beauty balm or beauty treatment. Um, but I've been using these for years and I absolutely love them. The first one is Zambac, which is something that is made in South Africa. I absolutely swear by this stuff. It's got quite a medicinal smell as it contains quite a bit of uh, oil of eucalyptus and camphor. But this stuff is my absolute go-to. Um, I put this on every night before I go to bed, sleep with it on. My lips are beautifully soft, never flaky. If my lips do get dry, this is my go-to. Um, if I feel like I'm starting to get a fever blister, put this on during the day and my fever blister never actually comes out. Um, it's good for dry patches of skin. Um, I think you can use it on eczema. It's really, really, really a great product. Um, so Zambuck, I think it is probably only available in South Africa. So if you're not in South Africa, find somebody that lives here to send it to you. The other product that I really like is my Island Tribe Lip Balm. You can see that it's been used quite a bit. But this product is also, it's got a really lovely coconut smell that reminds me of summer. It's got an SP for 15. Um, it doesn't leave that waxy finish on your lips. It gives you a little hint of shine, but it really moisturizes my lips really well. And as I said, SP 15. So this is a really great one um, for every day for outdoors. You can even put this over if you do like a lip stain, works beautifully to go over your lip stain. Next question is your best eye-catching red. My best eye-catching red, hands down, MAC Russian Red. It is my absolute go-to color in my kit, no matter what skin color is sitting in front of me. Really looks good on me as well, so I really like it. I've used it on darker skins, really pale skins, and it looks gorgeous. I'm gonna put it on my lips and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So you can see this is a beautiful matte red lipstick. I'm not really a fan of a glossy red lip. I think it only suits certain people and it's got to be done in the right way. So this is a really fail safe red color to go for. Because it's matte, it's also really classic and it looks really sophisticated. So the next question is, your best luxury and your best drugstore. So my best luxury lip product so far is the Chanel lip gloss, which um, let me take this red lip off and I'll show you guys what this one looks like. This lip gloss is color 277 and you can see it's just a very nice natural peachy lip color and it just leaves my lips beautifully shiny, not too glossy. I'm not really a lip gloss fan, but this one I've really, really, really enjoyed. And then my favorite drugstore product has to be my Catrice lip balm. I really, really love lip balms. I've also loved my Revlon Just Bitten lip balms and recently I've tried my Color Rush lip balms from Rimmel, which I really, really love as well. So, drugstore products, lip balms. Question number four is what is your best MAC lipstick? My best MAC lipstick is definitely MAC Viva Glam 5, which is this color that I've quickly popped on for you guys so you can see what it looks like. It has just enough color to give your lips definition and just enough shine to make your lips look moisturized. It is moisturizing. I find it to be quite long lasting. I use it on my kits all the time on shoots. I use it a lot for weddings. It's a beautiful, beautiful lip color. The best part about it is that it's part of Max AIDS Fund. So when you buy one of the Viva Glam lipstick, 100% of the sales go to their AIDS Fund. So all in all for me, this is the best MAC lipstick you can buy. Number five, your most disappointing product. For me, the most disappointing lip products is definitely those um, long lasting lip products where you find the lip color on the one end and the balm on the other end and you've got to apply it and wait for it to dry and then you put the balm over during the day. I really, really do not like those. I find they make my lips feel so dry and like tight. I feel like my lips are going to crack. You put the balm over and the balm doesn't really absorb. Um, personally, for me, those really do not work and I have not been able to find one that works for me. The next one is liner, yes or no. Um, I would say most of the time, yes. Line is definitely a good thing to put on, especially if you line your lips, color your lip in, put your lip color over. It'll help to make your lipstick last longer. My two favorite natural ones that I have is my MAC Dervish, and this one is from Rimmel in Wild Clover. Show you guys those colors. This Dervish is really just a beautiful natural lip color, nice pinky lip color. And this one I find works quite well on a little bit of a darker skin, but more of a tan skin. Number seven, what is your best glass? Um, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not really much of a lip gloss fan. Um, the one that I used earlier was the one from Chanel, which I probably would say is my best gloss 
as well as my best luxury product at the moment. If I had to recommend another one, I do like this Bobbi Brown lip gloss in Sailor One, which is a nice natural color with a little tint of red in it. Question number eight, something extra. The something extra that I've been enjoying a lot is my Rimmel Apocalypse. They are basically lip lacquers. They act like a lipstick. They apply like a lip gloss. They've got a really nice applicator, which is like a thin little doe foot applicator. So you can really good definition with it. They're long lasting, they're not sticky. They don't dry out your lips. Really love these. Whew, that's a lot of talking. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did and if you wanna see more of these videos from me. I definitely enjoyed filming it. Remember to subscribe so that I can see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.